running AI from home just got a heck of a lot easier. What's going on crypto miners? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at the new iGame 3, iGam 3. You guys tell me the best way to pronounce this. So this project has actually been out for quite a while now. It was in testnet for what, about a year at this point and finally went to mainnet within the last few months. And I'm excited to dive into it. And you might be like, what in the world is this thing? Well, this is an at-home AI edge compute deep pin project. And I'm excited to jump into this. So let's take a closer look at this. So iGame3, this is actually considered the M1 model that you guys see here. Right away, it has RAM 16 gigabytes and it has a solid state dot drive of 512. AI has definitely become more and more popular, especially amongst the circles that my channel and other channels have been recently, um, especially doing it at home. Uh, the nice thing about this is just the ability to step into this um, at home with a kind of, sorry, I'm trying to get this open and talk at the same time. It is not working out for me, but, you know, definitely stepping into AI at home, you know, right now it's uh, quite expensive, to be honest with you. We're getting there. Quite expensive, to be honest with you, to step into this space uh, of AI compute at home. There's a lot of really big factors. The biggest one being hardware prices. And so this is kind of nice to be able to step into something that's an all-in-one ready to go solution. And we'll talk more about AI uh, edge compute a little bit more as we get into this here. So right away, hello, my guests here. And we got a little card. All right, it's got some type of QR code on the bottom. I think it's for our model or our serial number. We'll put that off to the side. I don't know how much information to and to not show. So I guess we're gonna find out here <laughs> as we go along. Uh, let's see what is in this box. My guess is a power supply. Yep, okay. So we do have a power supply. Anything else? Oh, something else is in here. What is this? Let's see. Uh, Ethernet cable. All right, we'll take it. Always use more of those, to be honest with you. Uh, power supply here. Just a little typical little two-prong, which is nice. Uh, there is a QR code on the side of that as well. Uh, and, uh, yep, nice little little plug there, nothing too, too crazy. I think this uses at max, maybe 30 Watts. We'll take a closer look on the website as we kind of get into this. Dude, this is heavy. This is not like cheap little plastic. This has some weight to it. Holy cow. All right. Oh, this is fancy. All right. So let's see here what we're looking at. So of course we got to peel back this plastic. This screen is much bigger than I expected originally. There you go, all you freaks out there. All right, plastic is off there. So we have a screen on the top. My guess is some type of intake or exhaust. I did see on the bottom. So if I was to guess intake coming out the bottom, does it the feet here and exhaust out the top here. Uh, this looks like a well, well put together and engineered mini PC. Uh, here's our power and our ethernet. Other than that, we have nothing else but a power button on the side here. Maybe this is some type of LED light, I don't know. We ha have the iGame 3 or iCam 3 logo here on the top. And other than that, we just have this QR code on the bottom with our serial number. Uh, and it does say memory, uh, our, our RAM is 16 gigabytes, our SSD is 512. Now I know this has a pretty beefy and powerful uh, Intel CPU processor, which is doing all of our edge compute. And if you're like, what in the world, edge compute, what's the difference? Where's the massive graphics card? Well, quick rundown with my limited knowledge of this world uh, with AI compute is that edge compute is kind of like the middleman between the client and your, your kind of um, full blown compute, which is really done with the GPU side. Edge compute is that, that small little middleman work that can be more localized uh, to the actual clients. And so instead of you know, going from the client being a developer of some kind that's looking to develop on uh, or use LLM or other type of uh, you know, deep search or any of these other type of tools, they're gonna use that and put that into the um, AI compute network that this exists on. And this kind of acts as a more localized kind of node um, that does the edge compute between the network, between that client and the actual, you know, big data center with all these GPUs and stuff like that. So this is kind of doing the 
AI edge compute, uh, which is cool. There's definitely a need for it amongst uh, the entire AI industry, which is pretty slick. Okay, so other than this, this is all we have. And we have a power supply and we have this card with the QR code. So let me go ahead and get this plugged in. We got power and ethernet and uh, let's see how we make out. If you guys made it this far in the video, congratulations, we're doing a giveaway for one of the iGame M1 agents. Thanks to the team over at Helium Deploy. How do you enter? Go ahead and comment directly down below. If you won this thing, where would you put it? For me, I'm gonna go ahead and put it out in my home crypto mining shed, but it barely uses any watts. It doesn't make any noise. So you can kind of put this anywhere. So comment directly down below. Let me know where you guys would put this if you won the giveaway. In two weeks, I'll pick one winner and with Helium Deploy, we'll ship worldwide. All right, so I'm gonna hold this up here so you guys can see. So this screen is totally badass. Take a look at that. Earnings hub, earning process isn't doing anything yet because I haven't connected anything yet. Uh, total tokens earned is zero, earning info, um, established time, system info. So that's pretty much it. Like nothing else too, too crazy on there. Now I am on the app on my phone here off to the side as well. And I did get this connected with my trust wallet. Um, so I do recommend that as a good choice there. It looks like that was, it's on the Arbitrum and Ethereum uh, network there. And so what we can do now is there's literally just a scan QR code button right here in the middle. Um, and I'm guessing it's the QR code on the bottom here. Incorrect QR code, please scan the one on the device screen instead, something along the line. Okay, all right, so the QR code finally came up on the screen. It took a good like five minutes actually to come up. Um, so let me go ahead, we're gonna scan this here. All right, now let's see what we get here. Searching for device, link wallet, link your digital wallet to this device. Sure, why not? Verify email. Uh, let me put in my, the hobbyist miner, the hobbyist miner at gmail.com. All right, done. Confirm. Uh, okay, total XG3. Now it says it's XG3, which I believe it went to mainnet like literally a few weeks ago. And I think it's called, the token's called TOPS now. You guys will have to correct me. Uh, we'll take a closer look here in a minute, but I think we're done. Like, <laughs> I think this is it. Uh, let's give it a few minutes and see what it does. Cause it seems like it says earning process on here, earning hub. I guess that's what they call this device, the earning hub. Uh, and over here, I, I think we're all set up. I mean, there isn't a much, there's a bunch of apps and stuff like that. Um, but we don't really want to run any apps on this immediate platform. Uh, so let me give this a few minutes and I'll circle back and see what happens. All right, so while we're waiting for that thing to fully boot up and start earning us some token, let's take a closer look at this project. I actually got totally lost on their website. It's totally badass. So IG3.AI is their website. Feel free to come over there and check it out. You can see the edge network for building real-time AI interactions. So AI is all the buzz right now, as we all know. A lot of platforms are standing up with some hardware behind it. And the front end is very much built for developers and companies out there that want to utilize AI at a fraction of the price versus some of these massive AI platforms out there because the price tag is really expensive. Hence, you have something like IG3. So over on their website, I'll link this directly down below. You can learn a lot more about this project. And so far, I've had fun with it. It's a fun device. It is not cheap. This device Definitely has a price tag to it. We'll talk about it in a minute, but it also isn't cheap from a quality perspective. Uh, I actually might open it up in a future video. I'm definitely interested in that. But here's the device there. They call it the M1 Agent. Be part of the Edge AI revolution with IG3 device. So I don't know if this device is gonna make us hundreds of dollars or if it's gonna make us pennies. I really don't know. We're gonna test it out and I'll keep you guys updated in a future video talking about how this went as well as i want to open this up and see what exactly is inside because everything i was reading it's pretty much a mini computer with a beefy cpu that's doing the edge compute with some proprietary software built on it so taking a look at their website uh come over here i'll link it down below you can read up on the tokenomics and the use case and all that information but for today's video i just want to learn a little bit more so up in the top right hand corner it says 3827 and if you go ahead and click there, it actually brings up 
love to see it in Explorer map. Uh, very familiar with these from a lot of deep pin projects that we've been involved with over the years, but this looks really, really cool. So it looks like right now, 807 devices exist in the US. Hey, I'm one of them. Uh, and it looks like the one that has the most is over here in Vietnam at 9,900 plus. My guess is that's where these are made. Uh, and then I'll explain more in just a minute. But over here, there's a statistics dashboard with lots of great information over here. But what I'm most interested in is device status. So this, this you can come over here and get more information about your unit. And when I came over here and I typed in the serial number, you can do that upper right hand corner. My unit right now hasn't earned anything yet. So maybe it takes some time, but it still says it's in Southeast Asia. So that's where I kind of got my number of like, okay, I think most of these are built over there just based off of the fact when we go to that network topography map here and you can see a thousand plus. I mean, there's only 3,200 of these, 3,800 of these. Yeah, 33,827. Maybe I'm number 27, I don't know there. Uh, but that is my guess, just taking a closer look at it, that they are manufactured over there. They're plugged in, they're tested, and then they're shipped out. So I think I got to give mine some time to actually get up and running. The nice thing is though, if you come over here and you click on the wallet, you know, this is operating on the peak network. Um, so a lot of deep in devices more recently, I have found are on the peak network. Now, I know a lot of you guys were wondering like, hey, what happens if you go to the IP address of this device? I go over here, we get a 404 page. So it is solely meant to be managed by the actual app and run standalone. Now, I don't know what these earnings are gonna look like with this device. Based off of everything I read on their website, let me actually find more details on that because I think that'll be helpful. All right, so it took me a second, but I found it. So over on their the doc section, you know, I, I love when these are organized this way. It's becoming more and more popular. They have a reward mechanism here. And actually the way that this works is their epoch is actually once a week. So your payouts actually, it looks like they're occurring once a week based off of what I'm reading. And it keeps in mind several different avenues. So total reward per epoch, so per week, base reward plus bonus reward. So the base reward, it's not super complicated, hang with me here, uh, is pretty much your base reward times your uptime ratio, which we're doing AI, so it totally makes sense, times your tier multiplier. Um, and then your your bonus reward in there, it looks like it's epoch pool, staking weight, AI task score, and density bonus, which I did see there's some things about you can stake as well. So I was looking over here, tier multiplier, there's three different models, which I didn't realize I want to know how I get the M1E because that has an 8x uh, with the tier multiplier. We're on the M1, which is 1x. And then your uptime ratio, you can see here, like it all is off of a variable of one for the ratio. So as long as you have 95 to 100% uptime, which I get it, they're building an AI compute network. That uptime is going to be super, super important. There is density boost here, which number of devices in that edge farm and such. So there's a lot of factors to keep in mind here. So go over and take a look. But these are things I'm going to start to look at over the next few weeks because I do want to circle back to this project more and more and just report back on how things have gone. Now, closer look at the project here. I did find it over on CoinGecko. IG3 tops price uh, is what it's listing it at here. Um, so IG3 is listed on here and we can see that it is a fraction of a penny, which it's up 57% in the last 24 hours, which is absolutely awesome. As I said, it only... I think it went to main net on July, 2024. I like getting in on these projects that are fractions of a penny. And you might be like, well, why? Where's the profitability there? Well, when a project moves even one decimal place, there's definitely some profits to be made. So I'm not gonna lie to you. I am in this to make money and to chase profits. When we take a look at this, it is exclusively available in the United States, available from heliumdeploy.io. I'll leave a link directly down below, as well as a discount code. Um, because I think that's important because when you come up here to hardware and go to IG3, this is not a, as I said, it's not super, super cheap. Now it will be available here. By the time you guys are watching this, it's no longer going to be on reserve and you guys can actively buy this at the time of watching this when the video drops. You can see when I'm recording this, there's about 20 hours left, but it does go for $959 and I have a nice discount code I'll include directly down below in the video description and within the first pinned comment to save you guys some money because there's only so many of these, which is something to keep in mind. Now, expected delivery date does say September 24th of 2025. So even after you order this, it may take a few weeks to get to you. Nice thing is it's shipping 
within the North America, which is great from a customs perspective. If you are a US listener, outside of that, you can see. But the iGame 3, great device. Now, what I'm gonna recommend, if you want, catch up with me in a few weeks. I'll do a follow-up video on this. I don't know how many will be available because they're only releasing so many out there. But I will do a follow-up video to give you guys a better idea as to how this has worked out for me. As I said, I don't know how many tokens I'm going to earn per hour. Uh, I've seen people putting out numbers of decent. I don't even want to guess. I'm not even going to throw out some numbers there. I'm going to wait and get my own data and see how this does. I'm recording this right now on August 2nd at 5 p.m. Eastern. I'm just putting that number out there so that we can go ahead and gauge how much this will earn between now and that next video out there. Finally, if you guys are in a whole bunch of different projects like I am within Dpin, I highly utilize Mokin.io. It's a single pane of glass, free dashboard to put all of your Dpin projects into, and it will go ahead and keep track of all of them. As you guys can see down below, it keeps track of the daily profitability of each project, how it's doing, the uptime, performance comparisons. So I highly recommend you go over and check this out. Not only does it have a single pane of glass for keeping track of all your miners, so you don't have to visit pools or check every miner every single day. They also have a great forum section over there and a very active community. I'll keep you guys updated on how my iGame 3 M1 agent ends up performing over the next few weeks. I'm excited. This thing looks totally badass. Easy to plug in, easy to set up, and hey, it only uses about 30 watts total. Absolutely worth the gamble to see exactly where this project goes.